Thanks to the generous support of the local community towards the Forever Friends Appeal Help for Heroes Appeal, we've been able to fund many projects across the wards and departments. This particular project, the Butterfly in Memory Box, will support our end of life and palliative care team in supporting our patients and their families in all the wards and departments. Hello, my name's Helen. I'm lead nurse for palliative and end of life care here at Royal United Hospitals, Bath. I'd like to tell you about the Butterfly Memory Boxes which we're launching across the Trust this week in Dying Matters Awareness Week. Um, the Memory Boxes are for staff to support patients and their families with creating memories for those patients that have palliative or end-of-life care needs. We recognise that um, time is short for these patients and especially at this time where families may not be able to spend as much time with their loved ones we want to help them to think about saying the words that are important to them, but also um, creating some keepsakes for families to keep after the patient has died. So I'd just like to show you some of the items that we have within the boxes that staff can use to support patients and families with creating memories and keepsakes. Um, so within each box there's guidance for staff on the items within the box, how to use them and where to get replacement um, items. If a patient um, is being supported to create memories or keepsakes um, and they have uncertain recovery, we've got little gift bags that the items can go into for the families to then um, receive um, the keepsakes. If a patient um, is nearing end of life and we're creating memories for the family, we'll use the bereavement butterfly bag to place the items in for when the families collect the deceased patient's property. So within the boxes we have um, memory hearts um, each bag contains two hearts and these have been crafted by our local communities. Um, one heart is for the patient and one heart is for the family member and it's a way of showing um, connection for that patient and family and that actually we think of your loved one and we will care for your loved one at this time. And along with those hearts the staff will have a selection of cards that they can use to go along with the heart with different words of comfort. Um, and different reasons for using the hearts um, and we also have a bespoke plain card so that handwritten messages can be completed if that's appropriate. We have little foil purses to place locks of hair. There's special um, inkless paper that we can use with wipes um, to create little handprints um, for patients um, for their families to keep. Within the boxes as well, there'll be a selection of notebooks. Um, so if patients want to keep a diary or the staff want to write down special memories for families to keep, they have little notebooks that they can use as well at this time. And then finally, within the boxes, um, we have cards called Thoughts of You um, for patients to use. And it, the cards just include prompts of special memories that they might have of their loved one that they can then write in their own handwriting and create a keepsake for their family member at this time. Um, we certainly don't expect all the items to be used for every patient. That may happen for some, but it just gives the ward staff, the nurses, the doctors, the, the healthcare assistants on the wards, um, items that they can use to support families and patients at this time with creating those memories and keepsakes.